Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to walk through how I update my MPCX from 2.9.1 with the new 2.10.1 updater. Okay, first let's do a simple Google search. We'll type in Akai and then we'll go to software downloads and then here is a list of instructions for software downloads. One, log into your account. Two, register your hardware. Three, download your software. If you don't have an account, you have to create one. I already have an account, so I'll just type in my info. And then once we are in the account we just go down until we see see all your product registrations I'll go down I'm looking for the MPCX see details downloads and offers and then I'll scroll down to MPC firmware 2.10.1 I'm using Mac, so I'll click the Mac updater. And it is downloading. Once that's finished, I'll go to Software Downloads and click on Synth Content. And let that download. Yep, it's downloading. So while that is downloading, I'm going to go to my menu, click on the system icon, and take a look at my firmware. I am at 2.9.1. Okay, that's finished downloading. Let's go to my computer, navigate to my downloads, click on the updater. And I'll start the updater. Yes, I want to open. And it's ready to update. I'll navigate to my MPC, hold shift, and then update. And then it says, are you sure you want to restart your MPC in update mode? You must download a firmware update from the Kai Professional website before you can update this unit. We already have it, so I'll just click update. Go to my computer and start the update. And it's preparing to update. This may take some time, so I'm going to speed the video up. And it's done. And now we have this window. New plugin instruments are available for your MPC. To use them, you must first download and install their content files. Let's go with Remind Me Later. Now I'm going to click an empty project, menu, click the chip icon. And go into controller mode so that the machine is connected to the computer via USB. And then once it's connected, we'll take the Synths folder and drag it onto the MPCX hard drive. So the folder is now copying and it looks like it'll take about a minute. Now we're finished copying the synth folder to our MPCX hard drive. I will eject the hard drive. Of 
click standalone, restart as standalone, yes. And again, we have this new plugin instruments window. I'm going to go with don't show again. I'll click an empty project, go to menu, select the systems icon. Now the MPC firmware is updated to 2.10.1. I'll click menu to get out, go to main mode, and let's take a look at the plugins. I'll click plugin, let's navigate to maybe this one. And let's see what we got. Sounds good to me. Let's take a look at the drum plugins. I'll go with this one. Go back to menu, program edit, and here we are. All right, guys, thanks for watching me walk through how I updated my MPCX to 2.10.1.